if you don't sell me I don't know what. What do you want? Oh, I'm gone. Oh, I see. I'm bad. Are you pretty happy now? Have I moved it for you? Hey? Hey? Have I moved it for you? Hi guys, welcome back to Allotment Diggers. Well, it's the 4th of June 2023 for you time travellers out there. Um, me and Buttercup are just chillaxing here in the sun, just got back from the car boots, been buying some beautiful coins this morning. I got a few coins in the week as well, I've got time at the end of the video, I'll show you. Um, but um, yeah, this week, I've uh, not been able to do now for the first three days because I was too ill in bed. I'm fully recovered now, it's, I suffer with severe migraines on top of everything else. And um, when I get them headaches, wow, well, there's nothing I can do. Except for bang my head against the wall. <laughs> but um, yeah, the, the rest of the week um, we spent messing about with the um, the chilies. Um, the video, what you're going to see in a bit, um, took three days to put together because every time I, try, I started to do the video, the noise got so horrendous. Um, I just had to um, stop filming. So yeah, it took me three days to to finish this video off. So you might hear me repeat myself once or twice in the video, but what we're doing, we cleared the back greenhouse, uh, well, most of the greenhouse, um, so we could get its chilies um, potted, put into the, the final pots and put into the back greenhouse. And I ended up doing 28 of them. Uh, we, we set a stall out here, you're going to see me how, how I actually set my stall out, and you're going to see me potting them on, and you're going to see them in the greenhouse. But we had to get rid of uh, oh god, we had to get rid of all the um, the herbs. We took them and we put them on the the back part of the plot. You may see them in the um, the, the tour, which I want to show you at the end. Uh, we got a load of strawberries. We took them out and we put them on the the IVC tank um, just to get them out of sight, out of mind. Uh, it's going to be tough watering them, but hey, the tank's right next to it, so it shouldn't be that much of a problem and um, we give a load of cabbages um, uh, to new lad here his name's um, I think it's Tom yeah Tom um, I actually give him a cloche as well to cover him otherwise it's just pointless giving him the um, I give him some cabbage collie and kale and then I give him a frame to, a thing to cover him um, I got rid of them and I got rid of a load of sweet corn. I give me mate Mark a load of sweet corn. The guy who had the excavator doing his digging his plot up, I give him, I think it was 30, um, 30 of these sweet corn. They're about two and a half foot high. The ones what I'm going to use are only about, about eight to ten inches. I'm going to be prick potting them on shortly, putting them into bigger pots. But, um, yeah, we got rid of a load of them. We got uh, children at the top of the allotments. I give her about 40, um, 50 tomatoes. I give me mate Glenn a load of um, tomatoes for his two greenhouses. And I've still got a pile of um, tomatoes. So if anyone needs any tomatoes on the allotment, I've still got a load of tigerella. I've got um, some red cherries. And there's another one there. I think the gardener's delight maybe money maker I can't remember which ones they are but you'll you might get to see them in the tour anyway we've got loads of them still to get rid of but we created a load of space so we could actually get all the chilies in so you're going to see this clip now you'll probably see the excavator in the background but uh, yeah three three days to actually finish this little clip off it was a, a nightmare me doing it to be quite honest with you but we got it done um, my jalapenos are not jalapenos. I can't always pronounce them with the J. They're not the jalapenos. Uh, the, the, the J's not not in it. But and um, me, I think the California Wonder, not California Wonder. The um, the coloured rainbow mixed peppers. But we have actually got California um, Wonder um, peppers as well. But not planted them yet. But let's run the clip and show you what we've done. Well guys, you join me, um, filling all these um, terracotta pots up. Now these ones are going to have um, stations like this, just that sort of inside these. However, the others, we'll put the camera down here and show you what we do. Clover. 
and then we get a pot and what we're doing we're putting a pot in there's a liner because we've got a load of these pots with uh, chilies in in the back greenhouse I think the Kelvin Wonder or no Kelvin Wonder um, um, California Wonder so what we do we lift that out we drop that in and that's another one ready for the the pepper or the chilli whatever we decide to put in so yeah it's just a it's a boring procedure this bit but it's got to be done and uh, I've got to do that another another eight or nine times around the edges lift that out drop that in and then I continue well we've nearly done all these pots now I'm just uh, putting that liner in there which I've got two more to do so I thought we've we tag along for the last last few pots I say we sit that one in sacrificial then all the compost press it in the, down the edges sacrificial pot lift that one out and then it goes last one sit that in on top like that bed it in and then compost over the top push around the edges take the sacrificial pot out there we go so uh, we've got 18 like this and we've got 18 just normal like uh, another 10 normal like this the reason why the what we've got to do show you that one sitting there like that and then we drop the the ones which we've got the um, California Reaper and the um, Alapinos, they all sit in pots like this, we've got them in. So the others are in pots like this and some are in pots like this, so that's what we're doing. So, uh, I'll be right back in a moment or two. I'll show you me dropping a few of these into here and um, give them a good watering. We're going to keep these drip trays. Uh, give them a good initial watering. These are going into the, um, the back greenhouse, however, we've shorter space, so we've we're going to have to do a lot of uh, moving around in the back greenhouse. I've already moved a lot of stuff out, like the um, the herbs. Uh, they're outside, and also we've uh, we've put out some golden gourmet shallots as well. So we've still got a few more things to move out of the way, but um, yeah, we're getting there. So we'll we'll, we'll be back in a moment or two, and. Uh, We'll continue doing what we're doing. Well, guys, you can see all my pots are all done now. These, this, this ten here with these square pots, and um, what we're going to be putting in is that we've got the, some California Reaper, which are going in, in here, and the next one is going to be a load of jalapenos. Then the next two trays, which is about I think there's 18 pots, you're going to be a load of California Wonder. Now we have got other um, peppers and chilies, but. Uh, what we're doing we, we need to set a stall out in the, the back greenhouse and I've got to do a lot of clearing out the back greenhouse before we continue 
with um, the peppers and the chilies putting them in there so that'll probably be my next job um, we've uh, we've taken a load of um, herbs out of the the back greenhouse now and um, they're on the on where the compost bin is at the back of the plot and um, what we're going to do um, well, we've moved um, a load of a tray a couple of trays of uh, golden gourmet shallots they're um, implanted uh, there's a few other things that we need to to crack on with uh, I will be doing even more of these eventually but um, at the moment we we're struggling for space so we will be back and uh, with an update on these shortly oh sorry about the noise guys but uh, yeah there's a bit of work going on at the moment near me what I'm doing I'm just filling all these um, pots up with water because we're going to be putting the uh, chilies into these very soon in, as soon as that bloody sound stops in the background that's when you're going to see me putting them in but uh, what we're doing we're soaking the soil and then we drop the chilies in and uh, we've done all these others here Doing a bit more so they're all done the noise you can hear is an uh, excavator in the, the distance there so anyway um, we will be putting the chilies in shortly then we'll put these into the, the, the back greenhouse all good so far yeah everything's been working against me today i've had the i now got the sun in my face but uh yeah we got all those pots i'm gonna go and get me um my chilies now and uh we're getting potted yeah we've put some water in these so it's all damp inside there we will give them one more bit of a water on the top then it's uh we water the the drip train that's how we water everything but so far everything's come to plan i just got to go and get butter cup of tea um it's time now so uh, just gone 10 past five just got here um been trying to do these these um chilies and peppers all day but um it's just been too noisy to do anything anyway let's go and sort her food out Right, she's sorted. Let's go and get me um me pot so it won't be two minutes. Oh. Let's point the camera in the right direction, eh? Now I don't know if you're gonna get me in shot here but uh, these are called um sweet coloured rainbow mix um, peppers. So It's just a matter of transplanting them straight forward. They're a bit, uh, they, they do need water. Well, as you can see, we've got a nice root system on them, so they will establish well. Give these another watering in a minute. Ooh, a worm. <laughs>
Yeah, it's been a gorgeous day today. And all, all the lunatics have been out with the diggers and everything. So it's only just now that I've, I've, I've been able to do anything. the label keep the label in here keep them all together in the same tray uh, I think we'll be okay Two more to go, and these ones anyway. Yeah, they're just starting to come out of the bottom now. So these are these are fly away in here. What I think I better do is give these a watering when we get them down there um, because it's going to be too heavy to, to be carrying. We've got more here at the side. I've got a few more of these um, peppers here. I might give them ones away. But uh, yeah, we'll get these down now to the back of the green, in back greenhouse and um, get them watered. And then we can plant some more. But these are called... Um, Sweet coloured rainbow mix peppers. There we go. So we've done all the prep work earlier on, so it's just straightforward this. Let's go and get a few more. Well, sorry about the light quality guys, but uh yeah this I'm right in the, the sun at the moment. These are what we're doing here, these are cayenne peppers. This is going to be fun, fitting them into a, a round hole into a, or a square peg into a round hole. These are absolutely sodden, so we won't be watering these. So that's all my cayenne all potted. What I will do though, I will have to water this top because it's very dry. We, we will give them a, 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 a little bit of water, but um, not too much water. There's a spare one of them. We seem to be building up a lot of uh, pots here. All need washing of course. So we'll get these down to the back greenhouse and then we, we can start some some really hot peppers, really hot chilies actually. Well oh guys these are my jalapenos and uh, <laughs> we've done labels for these, we didn't do them for the other ones. What I'm doing Up them in like that.
that one in there and now what we'll do just bed them in got labels I oh, will st we'll stick the labels in these since I did them previously Right, might as well do these ones now. These are ones are called uh, Trinidad Scorpions. That's what these ones here are Trinidad Scorpions. Uh, and there's a root system on them, so they're ready to go in. I will be washing my hands once I've uh, once I've done these. Don't be rubbing your eyes after you're done them. That's for sure. These are fly away. Um, you know, they, once they're getting the greenhouse now and they're in these pots, they're absolutely just grow like hell. That's what we want. Right, like I say, we've got the labels, so we're going to stick the labels in. Trinidad Scorpion. Yeah, probably the camera's going to be playing now with the, with the optics here, but uh, that's what they are. Where's that other one? There's a spare one there, so I'll give that to someone. Right, we'll get all these now, back down, we'll get them down to the, swing the camera up here. Yeah, and what we'll do now, we're going to get all these now down to the uh, the back greenhouse. Uh, yeah, there's an jalapeno there. Trinidad scorpion. Uh, there's a, a coloured um, mixed pepper. That one's a uh, jalapeno, and I think that's another mixed pepper. So, yeah, we'll give them ones away. I've actually got more chilies, guys, more peppers um, to to plant on, but we've now got to create more space, unfortunately. So we'll get these down to the back of the greenhouse. We'll get them watered in, and um, we'll keep an eye on them over the next few months to see how they do. They should fly away. I might have to put some slug pellets in it because uh, the slugs don't half love these uh, chilies and uh, so we will do that but not today. Like I said they're going to be in the greenhouse and it just take care, it takes care of all the slugs and snails. But uh, yeah these um, Trinidad Scorpion, I'm not too sure what they are on the Scoville scale but they're, they're quite hot. The jalapenos are quite mild, and the bell peppers. 
Uh, the cayenne pepper's a little bit hotter. Um, we have got some abarinos um, still to do, and uh, there's a few others what I've got, which uh, we're also um, need to sort out as well. But uh, yeah, we're starting to fill the back greenhouse up now, which is uh, always good news. Right, I'll keep you posted. In fact, we're going to take you down to the back greenhouse now to show you me doing some watering. I'm not too sure where we, whether we've got room enough for the, both of these on the, on the table, but we will find room, I assure you. Well, guys, here's the, um, the jalapenos. These are the Trinidad scorpion. These are the cayenne peppers. And then the uh, sweet coloured rainbow mix. So there's nine of them, nine of them, five of them, and five of them. Uh, however, we still got to do all of these peppers here. I'm going to be moving these dahlias out of the um, out of the greenhouse in the next few days. Uh, we'll be putting these um, sweet corn on, and then uh, I'm going to be putting more chilies along here on this table, and maybe sort some sort of a table out here so we can continue the right way down. Inside there's cucumbers and what have you, so there's something else I need to plant up. It never ends, but it's, it is fun. I've got to admit, we've got a lot more tomatoes to give away there. Uh, but we've got all the tomatoes that we need now. Well, yeah, we've just watered, the, just damped the top down, but we've watered all the, the, from the bottom. And that's what we will do in here. Oh, we're going to need to, there's some um, little Leo, they need to go out as well. They're getting a bit stressed where they are. But oh, it's warm in here. So that's the uh, that's the back greenhouse um, half complete. We're getting there. Grapevine, well, that's doing well. Lots and lots of grapes on there, all the way along. We'll be back here shortly to do this side. So I'll keep you posted. So yeah, we've got lots of chilies. We've still got another probably 20 more to do. I've got lots more chilies um, I'm going to be using. I'm going to be giving lot. I'll give a lot of chilies away as well. Um, so you know, I'll give lots and lots of them. Because I don't really need all that many. I give me dad. So give me dad about 30 of the things. Give him at least 40 tomato plants. But we'll 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 be doing the rest of the chilies shortly. Anyway, um, that's the, the chilies, the, the back greenhouse is all just half complete. We'll get it finally rocking and rolling in the next week or two. Um, so what we'll do now is take you on a walk around the plot and show you everything what's been happening. We've got a couple of disasters. Um, well, one disaster we can sort out, not a problem. However, the, the main disaster, um, it's no saving it and uh, we can turn it into something else so let me take you on a tour and you'll get to see the problems what, what I've, I've actually got well guys uh, right at the back of the plot at the moment just looking at me comfy there we just chopped a load of that up um, I'll show you that in the next episode I think but um, yeah maybe making comfy tea um, and girls inside the chicken pen getting six eggs out of them each day so that's the result these uh, elephant garlic are almost ready for um, lifting uh, the porcelain and solent white they're still a long way off um, all these planters are full of flowers now lobelia geraniums is um it's all sorts is uh, yellow flag is this little leo sunflowers is um this is a uh, Lemon balm, there's all sorts of goodies in around the pond. Um, this is my celery, is inside here. The cabbages are not doing too good. At, oh, god, the celery is doing wonderful, really healthy, nice and green. We few of these little cabbages in here, just see what has happened, see if anything happens. If we don't, we can always throw them to chickens. However, them ones are a lot better. We'll have a look at them from the other side. But uh, yeah, daily situation. That, that one's up, that one's up, up. That one's coming up. That one's just starting to come up, up. That one's just breaking through. That one's breaking through. This one here, tragedy. I'm really gutted. It's not coming up. We had a fish down inside it. It's all rotted. However, we have got um, 
something what we can put in there the lucifer is uh we're gonna have to put the cage on that sooner rather than later we're gonna we're coming out of the shade here and going it well we're coming we're in the shade still but once we go up there we'll be going into the light um it's a it's a, a plot of two I mean, there you see the sun up there. Once it gets, when it drops down, it, it casts a shadow on the on, my, on the bottom part of the allotments. It's like Tale of Two Cities. That's the one I was looking for. Now you've seen all this lot in here. These are the ones that I'm keeping. These are me. Um, these have got to be potted on. We've got lots of corn, more chilies to put on. These are the dailies. Now I'm going to put one of these dailies into one of them um, tubs. Lots of uh, cucumbers and there's also we've still got tons of tomatoes to get rid of there. There's a few tomatoes and but there's lots and lots of chilies. Um, some little lay up, little Leo up there as well. But yeah, the the cucumbers, not well actually the chilies are doing fine. Uh, we will be doing them on this side as well. The the grapevine, that's doing wonderful. It's full of full of um, grapes all the way down it. Keep the door closed for now. We put the strawberries up here. <laughs> We've been picking strawberries. Oh well, we, we took a lot. We took a load home today. Um, again, we got all these planters are full of flowers. Apples are all over these apple trees and these cherry trees covered in cherries it won't be long before the birds will start pinching them so now we've got to fiddle about with the um with the light and the shade but these that these are lupins they're looking wonderful they're all right when they're like that but when they start to go to seed that's when you want to take the top the heads off them otherwise you're going to have them everywhere there's maggie on me on my shed What's she gonna do there? She's thinking just buttercups on the underneath the underneath the chair there. <laughs> Buttercup won't attack her, but um, she'll probably scare the hell out of her. Don't know if you can see Maggie right in the corner of the shed. Anyway, forget about her. Let's get back on with the uh, the tour. This here, um, we've got to be clear. This is one of the beds. What we've got to clear out. See how the the daffodils and the tulips have all died back now. Well, we're going to come in, rip it all out, all this out, do some pruning, tidy everything up in here. And then we're going to be putting the dailies here. We're going to put, put three or four of them just here. It's going to look lovely. Um, this rosemary is doing wonderful. The only trouble is it's leaning over the path, so we need to do something with that. Got more of these um, lupins. These are... Um, lilies these are all my gooseberries here there's gooseberries two gooseberry bushes and there's a current which is dying which i need to take out and replace these are all starting to go to seed now so i'll be taking these off really soon the the, the um poppies are, are all coming up which i'm really chuffed about i've really been trying to get them to do that for years um you know a load of uh, poppies but um, there's tons of them there, so they'll be coming over the next month or so. This bed's another one what we need to tidy. Put a cup underneath the, uh, the, the, the chair. Um, we made a start here. This is all calendula, guys, and lupins. Uh, but these other things sticking up along here are all the daffodils that are die back, so we need to take them out. There is some calendula here which is actually flowered in these pots, but if you look in the in the actual pot himself, you can see lots of calendula coming up. Now it's all self-seeded, so uh, yeah, watch out for that. The violas and the, the pansies are, are still flowering. These um, alliums look absolutely awesome. Again, the yellow flag iris is here. They're actually starting, one or two of them are flowering. Hanging baskets full of flowers that needs to come home with me. 
you know, all the hanging baskets. Move the chair out of the way. Right in the right in the sun, out the sun. Get get myself out of the shade so you can see them. Right. So these um, tomatoes on this side are at the top of the um, the canes now. Uh, two weeks later, we planted these, and these ones are about two thirds um, from the top. And oh, by the way, we have a grape vine in here, Black Hamburg, all the way down, full of um, full of grapes. These are some more. That's a stilba. That's a beautiful um, pansy there. Lots of different coloured pansies. <coughs> so this is my other greenhouse. Grapes down this side, full of grapes. These are me. Um, what we pl remember them? What we planted last week. Look at the size of these. They've doubled in size in a week. Literally, and there's actually a tomato on that one. Again, we got grapes on this side. This is a different grapevine. This is a black Hamburg which goes along there and down the side. But on this side, I forget the name of it, it's a small grape, it's really nice. Uh, we've got a few chilli peppers there as well. Just loads of flowers in there to plant out. Got myself a couple of bags of, uh, more bags of compost because uh, we've got all um, um, sweet corn to pot on and uh, more chillies to put on. So we've got made sure I got some of them because we only had about five or six left in shop we have got 100 on order coming next Tuesday but yeah it's uh, all the butts are all, butts are all filled up looks a bit of green stuff in there mm. really needs emptying they're all topped up these are all my, um, my marigolds looking lovely the hanging baskets through there through that sunshine yeah it's definitely crooked this is my lobelia all different colours lobelia starting to cast they should cast start falling down that's what we've um, what we're hoping um, marigolds I forget what that thing is there but it is a nice it is, it's got lovely flowers on it these are a combination of um, yellow flag irises and um, gladiolus. Again, we've got lots of um, marigolds here in these pots. We've got a lot of them lupins in them three pots. Uh, these are all my goop raspberries here. Uh, these are my currants. This is sedum all the way along here and still beyond the ends. Full of fruit. We just took a punnet of strawberries out of there, out of these. That's the result. No, no, nothing on this, so I don't think we're going to get anything from this this year. But we'll keep it here. We'll give it a bit of a tidy up um, and uh, see what happens. If nothing happens, we've got a load of compost and we, we've uh, we've got a bucket. More of them alliums. Um, these are more gooseberries. This is my rhubarb. Um, we have got a disaster here, but before we show you the disaster, these are all my, my apples. Didn't think he had any apples. <laughs> Look, obviously I'm blind as a bat. I, I mean, they're everywhere. Every bloody inch of the thing. Right, here's the disaster, guys. But we're going to turn it into a win. This is my me, um, me peach tree. And uh, it's, oh, let's climb up here. It's bitten off its mortal coil. Now look at that. That does not look good, does it? So, me and my friend Deborah, we're gonna come and we're gonna chop it out. But what I'm gonna do, see this hook, this like hook here, we're gonna leave that there I'm going to take the tree out. I'm just going to take it right back, take everything out, but leave that stump thing. I'm going to turn it into a bird table. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately, it's been going for, for a few years, that. So, 
I don't know what that is. I really need to look it up, but um, there's no cure when it's like that. If I cut it back hard, it might come again. I don't know, but that's that's the idea. Cutting it right back and see what happens. Again, apples everywhere. There's not so many on the Bramley, but there is apples on it. It, it didn't um, flower this year, really. Normally, you get lots of flowers on it. There is a, there is apples on it. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> we really need to lift these nets off here, but they've started to thicken up now. But if you look down here, see how they're all like, all thickening up. Me onions. These are me savoy cabbage. They are nice. I can't go further with this up here. Don't like doing this. But yeah, these are me savoy onions at back. What you got to do here though, you got to make sure that this is well and truly down. Otherwise them bloody wood pigeons will be in there and they'd eat the lot. One day she'll pick that 220 pence up. This is my curly kale. Um, Greyhound cabbage. There's um, some... Um, all year round collies there, there's some, some huntsman cabbage and there's also um, some um, Brussels sprouts there and they look absolutely flawless. There's not a bite out of any of the leaves, they look absolutely awesome. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty pleased with them. We've got a few beans, a few peas on here. We're going to be doing these again shortly. These are me potatoes, there's uh, five different varieties there. Um, off the top of my head I can only think of a couple of them. Um, we've got Desiree, we've got Maris Piper, we've got King Edwards. Uh, we got, I think it's Rooster. I don't, I don't know if I mentioned Cara and there was one more, Pentum Javelin. Yeah, well they're, they're doing okay as you can see. We took the fleece off them now. We've stuck all the herbs here, along here. Um, more, um, that's mint. These are blueberries, another blueberry there. There's my pumpkin. It's even got, it's got a flower right where I want it, right on the, in the compost bin. So yeah, that's, that's what the plot's looking like. It's uh, looking pretty good. Um, Where we're missing near the pond. So this is where I come to hide from everyone. And just behind the chair, there's a load of gooseberries. Another blueberry over there. These are that's all lemon balm, um, yellow flag irises. <laughs> I'm gonna have to come in and trim this back, take some of this down because it's they're, they're um, covering me, um, me uh, geraniums. More more herbs here. These look lovely, all different colours. You can see the dahlias there now, can't you? Well, that ain't a dahlia, but these are, and they are, and they are. But, yeah, uh, that's that's the pond. There's loads of little frogs in there. There's seen a couple of newts uh, on them stones there the other day. Perfect for them. Perfect environment. I can even see a rose opening over there. These are... Uh, my Bramleys. You can't see them, they, they camouflage right in on the bloody leaves. It's a nightmare to find. Although when they start getting bigger, they're quite easy to find. Anyway. I'll leave you with that prospect there. And we'll get back up to the top of the greenhouse. Uh, to the top greenhouse, I should say. So as you saw, the back part of the plot's looking wonderful. Potatoes look fantastic. I mean, brassicas, you know there's not a single hole in them brassicas. Not one bite mark out of them yet. No, so I say yet. The onions are starting to swell out, the um, the celery and everything else. The garlic's doing wonderful. Um, 
the Savoy cabbages are doing fantastic. Everything's doing really well on the back, all except for one dahlia. Out of all my dailies, one of them's died and uh, gutted about it. However, we have got a replacement, and you did see it in the back green now, so we're going to be putting that one of them into that one of them into that bucket. I've still got to put all my um, me, me, me frames onto me um, onto me um, me, me dahlias and uh, me lucifer to to hold them up like a spine because the dahlias get really top heavy everything and it all flops over and it looks a mess but if you contain them in them frames which you've got um, it keeps them upright and they look really good so yeah the, the daily was the, the one of the disasters which is an easy fix however the peach tree I think that's bitten off its mortal coil we've got a lot of leaf curl there I've looked at it and I can't figure out what, what's, what's causing it so what I've decided to do is to cut it out my friend Deborah's coming over with a saw um, sometime in the week if I've got the time to do it because I'm over at the hospital um, next next well on Wednesday uh, doctors choose Thursday and Friday so I don't, I don't got much time but we're gonna I think I'm gonna take the tree out and just leave that bent bit in I'm gonna turn it into a bird feeder <laughs> put um, you know something on, flat on the top of it and then I can throw crumbs and stuff onto it it might be a good perch for buttercup as well so anyway and um, that's that that's well we might be able to turn that disaster into something useful but yeah the peach tree is there's no no coming back for it but i'm going to cut it right back it might throw a couple of um of, of shoots out and if it does we'll 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 leave, we'll leave it and see what happens but yeah that leaf curl um nothing i can do about it no treatment's going to help it it's deceased i think the front of the pot we've still got five more beds to tidy up we've already done the strawberry bed that's looking really good and um, we've got five more to do the one what i'll probably end up doing next is the one where i'm going to put the rest of the dahlias in so watch out for that one uh, next week we're going to uh, be probably doing a few more chilies we're going to be um, potting on all the um this this them sweet corn what you saw in the clip and um hopefully be able to to do that without too much um noise I, I, like i say this week's been a nightmare for for noise on the allotments the only this is the first time i've managed to actually get this be able to do any sort of video um yeah, it's been terrible. Then me, me, um, me, me laptop has died, so I've got to use my desktop. So I don't know how I'm going to get this video up um, later. If it doesn't go up later, it'll be on Monday morning. Monday morning I'll put it up. But I'm going to try my hardest to get it up tonight. <laughs> What's the cups? She's uh, a bit of muck on the back there. I've got, I've got um sort her out as well with the flea tablets and the worming that's that's coming up sometime in the next week or two all money right anyway speaking of money um this last clip is what we've been wasting his money on today and through the week we've got a few coins come one from the royal mint strike your own i'm still waiting for another strike your own to get here but we've uh, got some nice coins let me show them you oh, uh... Today we've bought a few coins on the car boot and um, some two coins come in the post like this one here, this strike your own um, commemorative 6th of May 2023 strike your I struck this 50p coin at the Royal Mint King Charles 50p and then we got this um, Sea Creatures uh, 2021 silver proof comes in a box and then we've got this uh, king gemma the six and a half groat beautiful coin then uh, we got these on the car boot of all places uh this is a delaware um two was it 2022 eagle it's a uh, ms70 and uh, we got this uh, io iowa uh, MS70 um, Eagle as well. They come with the certificates. These are the certificates. That's for that one. And this is for the other one. 
So, yeah, we, we've done all right today. Um, just a few coins. We have got a few more, but uh, give me a five and I'll, I'll show you the others what we've got as well. Well, guys, these are some more of the coins that we bought on the car boot. We got this uh, little floor in here. Um, like I say, I only paid three quid for it. These um, these pennies, uh, 1937, 1944, 1948, I mean, these are um, uncirculated. That one's um, got even got luster on it. So these coins, um, I paid for all three of them. I paid £3 for the three. The worth about five pound each because they are absolutely mint condition um uh, bought a couple of crowns uh, these are not worth 10 quid really but um i didn't pay that for them i paid a fiver but uh yeah there's a uh, 20 tw uh, 1921 and 1923 the 50 silver Basically paid silver value. However, this um, James, hang on, this James um, half groat is a uh, pretty nice. It's a uh, well sixteen oh three to sixteen fifteen. That's when oh twenty five it was sixteen oh three to twenty five. Uh, James the first. Um, you might be able to see his face there. They're not, these hammers are not always that good. Um, clear. I've I've got some lovely um James, but uh, again I didn't pay twenty. Um, but it's worth twenty. I paid a tenner for this one. The 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 bargain, what I think I got was this one. Now this is um, in its proper bunk pack. He wanted thirty five quid for it, but uh, I was only willing to give him twenty five for it, and that's what I paid. And it comes in this is the original packing that it come in and um yeah it's the manchester commonwealth games um english two pound coin in brilliant uncirculated on that card it's probably worth 45 quid i paid 25 you wanted 35 i've been looking at that thinking it was the rio andover and thinking it's only worth 20 but when it, when I was when I looked at it closer, I've been looking at this for about three months and not thought out of it. It was only when I looked closer and realised what it was. It's definitely worth having. Like I say it's in in mint state that um two pound. I wish I could get a few more like that. Uh, but yeah, that's a Bobby Dazzler. So that's a another another coin, um to add to the collection and these as well. So it's been a really good day um, today, this week for coins. So yeah, we've um, we've we've done all right. We did all right this week. We've um, made a few. I will so, so sell them coins that I've what I've just shown you there. I'd probably make 200, 300 quid clear profit off them. Not that I'd ever sell them. I'd, I've never sold a coin yet. I buy them. I've never given them away because I, I love them too much. Um, I remember doing a deal with a guy. He says, "Well, if you give me that coin there, I, it was only it's only worth a tenner." He said, "If you give me that coin there, I'll I'll drop thirty quid off the um off off the that coin." I, said, I can't do it, mate. He said, "What? You don't you don't want to save yourself thirty quid?" I said, "I can't sell it. I just can't sell the coin." Um, I don't everything I give it away but I just can't sell it and I've never given never give a coin oh hang on I tell a lie I give one coin away and that was to my friend as a present but other than that I've never given a coin away anyway um, I'm gonna get off uh, hopefully I'll get me my laptop as well sorted I'll be watching the stars tonight through me, me telescope it's been glorious uh, this week it's the first time I've been able to get my telescope out telescope telescope out this year it takes about three hours to set up I've used I've had it out of its out of its um box um 12 times since I bought it it costs are you ready for this 
nearly six grand. I've used it 12 times. The skies in Salford are absolute joke, but this week it's been glorious. And um, yeah, I've been looking at the stars and everything. What's Elon Musk? Um, bloody satellites flying past every 10 minutes, thinking, oh, is that a meteorite? No, it's Elon's um, World Wide Web going past. It's going to get a lot worse. Anyway, I talk long and hard. I definitely talk long enough. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and goodbye for now.